Hi, I'm Dr. M. Kamakshay, open source software evangelist and also a full stack developer. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to upload an Excel file in which we have some certain data. I have my project folder here, templates, app and data file. In this, I go into uh, some certain data. And I'm going to show you how to get this data into the application and post that data, I mean not post actually, display that data in the browser. Uh, let's start uh, the work uh, from Flask. I am assure I, I assume that you know basics of Python Flask, at least how to open a server file and then create templates, routes, kind of thing. From Flask, import Flask, render, render template, and request. These are the basic and minimum. I'm going to initialize my app flask name so these are the fundamental things I'm going to create a route also known as decorator this is actually the path file I mean I mean the path uh, for the server where users will try to do some task I'm going to add logic and I just by creating a Python user defined function return render template I call the I, I have to create a, a HTML file and this is going to take out the UI user interface now since I am going to I mentioned this I have to create a index HTML file inside the templates HTML file so what I'm going to do I just create a form and I sorry and I give some I, I'm going to create router which means this is going to I call it as data this is just a Python route I mean the server path I mean the path address in the server uh, where the user will I mean this application is going to display the data in this address and now here I'm going to create two input one is file so this is upload upload file this is the name we have to remember this name now I'm going to create one more uh, button that is input this is going to be submit because we are going to submit this file to the server and that file we are going to manipulate uh, let's stop here let me finish the rest of the code in my app the last statement if name is equal to main then that is run the app app run debug is equal to sorry true and now okay everything is okay now let us go back here and then then python app dot by if everything is okay then our server is going to start go to I think I have to open my Chrome then come on why I have to I don't know okay so let me open my server I mean the Python flask this is the path address where we have this HTML I mean the front end so we are going to press this button choose file and that file we are going to redirect inside we are going to write the logic for since we are going to post data I mean there is a post request on that HTML file so we need to add methods is equal to there will be get no we are not going to use get but anyway it is better to have both get and post now we are going to add logic for this uh, what is that name think uh, data we are going to redirect that uh, data inside the file to this router data and again we have methods here both get and post these are HTTP request we call them as HTTP request and now I'm going to add some logic I call the same I use the same name for this function now if request dot method 
is post then do this and read that file uh, and the file is going to be request I think I do I have yes I have request here request dot form we have form there right and what is the name of the file name of the file is upload file upload file that is the name of the object now this file is there now here the actual logic starts I'm going to uh, use a peculiar package called pandas and in pandas we got a couple of uh, functions to convert this incoming data into data frames, dictionaries, something like that. Import pandas as pd. That is an alias for, I don't like to write the full name of it. Now data is, now we are converting that uh, data inside the file into a data frame. A uh, data frame is a uh, is a name indicated uh, uh, is a name given to identify any data uh, uh, which is arranged in rows and columns something like that. Mm, PD uh, read Excel because this is an Excel file file and now return I'm going to redirect that data to this uh, place called data written render template and we need to data dot html and now data is equal to data something else. this th th this data is this one and this we are going to use inside this data html if you are confusing it is very simple since we created this we need to create a file data dot html we should be having another yeah index now inside here we'll just uh, put data and vertical line safe this is called pipe in computers in computing language this is called pipe this particular symbol called pipe now save let's go back let's Oh, something yeah upload the file submit it you see we got the data frame now what happens um, this is not the table because here in Excel file if you observe we got the table but uh, this doesn't look like a table for that we need to do one small activity inside our application server file that is going to be data dot to HTML now this is going to solve that now refresh yeah you got the this is how we can get the data from uh, let's go to the index and I think this is not index yeah this is the front end for uploading the file and then soon after you upload the file there is another it redirects to data and there you will see the data table which we have inside that XML file. Suppose if you would like to convert this into a dictionary because dictionaries are more flexible and uh, highly dynamic to manage data inside these tables. There are high level data structures in Python programming language. Suppose if that is your intention then instead of HTML you need to write as to dict that's it very simple now if you refresh this is going to be the dictionary now you have the enormous freedom to make use of these values uh, rather more dynamically uh, kind of thing okay so this is for this video I just would like to show you how to imp import the Excel file in which we have some certain data table and print it in some valid uh, address of the server. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Keep watching my videos. Stay tuned for the new content. If you like my video, please don't forget to press like and subscribe to my video channel. Thanks once again for watching my video.